near Independence Pass. This is going to be a good one. CDOT statewide avalanche coordinator Brian Gorsuch. That's the good stuff right there. Has seen a lot of avalanches. We're out here using explosives to try and manipulate Mother Nature. All man-made by using explosives. And they're dropping explosive charges in uh, specific areas where we feel like we're going to have the best result. Thrown from a helicopter. So we're going to hit this slope with the biggest hammer we got. And designed by CDOT alongside Ethan Green and the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. CDOT's been working to get down to the pavement where we're standing right now. Up above us, we still have the seasonal snow cover that's sitting on the road. To get Highway 82 between Twin Lakes and Aspen open and safe from avalanches. See, it's getting bigger as it runs because it's knocking snow out of the way. It's entraining snow as it comes down. So it's going to be pretty dramatic by the time it hits the road. Tough work after one of the snowiest winters in years has snow coming down more than 20 feet deep onto the road. Well, after this mitigation work, I'm sure we've got piles 20 to 25 feet high. Covering stretches of this 45 mile long highway. That's one of the most scenic mountain drives in the United States. I mean, this is one of the most beautiful parts of Colorado. NYC CDOT crews have spent weeks working to get this road open by Memorial Day. So this road's been closed all winter. And David says, get this summer drive on the road. Once we roll into full summertime, I mean, there would just be uh, sightseers, RVers, and campers using this road every day. It's a very popular place. They dropped 42 charges on Independence Pass yesterday and caused several slides, which is good news. While the pass is still closed before they open it, the Twin Lakes side is moving along pretty good, but they still got a lot of work to do on the Aspen side of Independence Pass. But CDOT still pretty sure they're going to have that thing ready and open by Memorial Day weekend. Corey, Jordan, Erica, it's a sure sign that the summer season is starting to roll here in Colorado. So I love to see that work up there. Oh, we love to see it too. And Matt, I was reading that these piles that are left behind of the avalanches, that they're really deep on the roadways. They are. I mean, they, like the guy said, you know, 20 feet deep in some places and that snow comes down. It brings a lot of debris with it, rocks and trees. So it damages the road when it hits. So they not only have to clear all that snow, Jordan, but they also have to repair the road after those avalanches. But this is work that's good to get done before they open things up because there's no one up there right now. That's true. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad there's folks that are willing to do that right? work because it looks so scary. Yeah, to me. Matt, thank you.